Okay, now we're doing question two. And the question has to do with this. The table, this table here, lists the U.S. fossil fuel production as the percentage of total energy production for selected years. The linear regression model for this data is given. That's just the best line equation for uh, the uh, a line, best fit line through a scatter plot of the data, where x represents the years since 1985. By the way, x represents the years since 1985. So, how many years from 85 to 85? Zero. From 85 to 95 years. 85 to 95, 10, and so on. And Y represents the corresponding percentage of total energy production. So this is 85%, 83%. The percentage of total energy production, uh, the fossil fuel percentage of total energy production continues to drop. Now the first task is to draw a scatter plot of the data and graph and a graph of the model on the same axis. So I've got a graph of the scatter plot, and now we have to graph this equation also. And at time zero, the y-intercept is x will be zero, and we get 84.6. And then at 20 years, y of 20, replacing x here with 20, and computing, I get 78.6. Uh, and that is going to be a percentage. So let's make a mark at uh, 084.6. And at, let's see, 20 and 78. Point six, and now we'll take a ruler and we'll draw a best fit line through those two data points and there we have it <clears throat> okay so we've done what they asked us to do for A then it says interpret the slope of the model well, in words, what that means is the uh, percentage of fossil, uh, the fossil fuel production as a percentage of the total amount of energy is dropping by, by uh, 0 0.3%. So there's a 0.3% in the in uh, fossil fuel drop in fossil fuel production as it relates to total production. Now for C, it says use the model to predict fossil fuel production in 2020. Well, there's 35 years from 1985 to 2020, so we'll evaluate this for let x be 35, and so I get negative 0 0.3 times 35 plus 84.6, and when I compute that, I get 74.1, Point one, which implies the uh, fossil fuel production relative total energy production is 74.1 percent. So of the total energy production for that uh, year, 74.1 percent is from fossil fuels. Now for D, it says use the model to estimate the first year for which the fossil fuel production is less than 70 percent of the total energy production. Okay, so we'll say Y is going to be less than 70 and 
uh, this is in terms of percentages. So y is less than 70. That means that negative 0.3x plus 84.6 is less than 70. So now let's isolate the term packing x, which is zero, negative 0.3x. That is, we'll subtract 84.6 from both sides, and we get 70 minus 84.6 is going to be negative 14.6. Now to isolate x, we'll divide both sides by negative 0.3, so we'll have to flip the inequality. 0.3. And by the way, if I move this decimal over once, I can move this over once, and the quotient of two negatives is positive, and we've got the quotient of 146 over 3. So x is greater than, and when I compute that, I get approximately 48.7. So the year, then, will be adding 48.7 to 1985 plus 48.7 equals 2033.7. That means, and now let's read this question again. It says, uh, Estimate the first year for which the fossil fuel production is less than 70 percent. Well, in 2033, that fuel production uh, uh, percentage for fossil fuels will be less than 70 percent, and we are done.